So what are you? You a rocker? You a roller? Are you a stiller? Found this thing called the Rocket Man. You hook it up to your hammock and it'll give you that rock. It reminds me of just being pressed up against my mother's bosom and her in that old rocking chair squeaking out there on the porch. Rain coming down, hitting the tin roof. I'd hear her puffing on that corn cob pipe, dumping ashes on me. It made me tough, it really did. So check it out. It's the Rocket Man. Hammock rocker. All right, and this is what you get when you lay in this thing and you set it up just right and and this thing is a little particular in its setup so I'm gonna link his instructional video on how to use this thing below this video I recommend watching it and like he says watch it a couple of times It's very particular to get it right because if you don't get it right it won't do anything but if you get it right, you're just going to get yourself a little rock like that. It's not like somebody pushing you in a swing set. You know, you can get your rock going, but it's just going to give you a gentle rock like that for, for a long time. Because I've really never used this thing outside and under my tarp. In fact, I even hooked up the 12 volt battery to it today. Here's the, what I learned today. I was out here and I was wondering why it wasn't working. And it's because the suspension was kind of hitting my tarp. So you can't have any interference when you're swinging. That's one thing I learned today. And I got the one here, I bought it with my own money, wasn't given to me, and I'd rather just, you know, spend my own dime, or $99, or $109, really not that expensive. And I got the one that will go on 12 volt, and just regular old current from your house, hook up an extension cord. And I know some people, rocking drives them crazy. They, they just get vertigo. You may not be the kind of person that wants it, but if you want a little rock, then you can. You can hook it to a Hatteras hammock, you can hook it to a hammock chair, He's got it hooked to porch swings. So if you look at his information below, you'll see all the things he hooks it up to to just get yourself a nice gentle rock. But you gotta follow the rules. It has to be lined up straight. There's a certain angle with that shot cord. And if you look, you see that it goes up underneath my hammock to the other side. That's very important. The other very important thing is that it's lined up straight, all right? that this is an off kilter like that so that little arm is not getting interfered with and also that the line going out the shock cord is going out straight to the other side that you're not sort of set off on an angle like this and you'll hear that it's how it rubs All right, one of the other things that's very important is this little arm right here is straight up and down when you start. You don't want it so when the hammock's hanging still that it's here or too far back here. You want it straight up and down so that when you get your swing going, you can see how that little bit of slack gets in the line when it comes this way. is the fuse right there a little brown thing little five amp fuse and you want to make sure your little fan is running then you know you got power I'll unplug it that fan stops no power plug it in you got power Because I'm using a gathered in hammock here, I added that white cord to the shock cord, which he provides, and binder clips, and I'm clipping right to the center of my hammock. In fact, this superior gear hammock I'm hooking right there. I'm just clipping that clip right there to the zipper, and that works for this. The other important thing is you can see the angle of the shock cord right here when it goes straight 
like he says in his videos, you want sort of five to eight inches from here to the bottom of the hammock. All right, so you don't want that shot cord straight or you don't want it too steep. And I'm gonna say it one more time. So if you're rock curious, not not rock curious, but rock curious, check out his video below to get the specifics of how he sets it up, all right? I showed you roughly what I'm learning and you know, there's been a few times when it didn't work for me or it quit rocking or I couldn't get the rock going it's because I did not follow the instructions properly. So five to eight inch angle, hooked to the other side of the hammock, everything lined up. Don't have it so far away that it tips over. You know, like he says, if your hammock's really high and your shot cord is at a really steep angle, put it on a box or a cooler or something. But there are, just like hanging a hammock, some little specifics. But if you get them all right, then you can lay there and just kind of have a gentle rock for a nice long time. And what I do in this hammock, because I hang fairly low, is I just put my hand on the ground and just push myself to get going. Or sometimes when I get in it, um, I just kind of get myself rocking. And one of the other things he recommends is have the rocket on the opposite side that you get in. That won't work out here because I've got a little hill, but I'm gonna go ahead and enter it now, take the stuff out, and let you see that because if you're watching this, you must be desperate. So again, like he recommends, this would be on the other side of the hammock, but because I'm on a little slope in my backyard, I, the hammock would be too low and I wouldn't have that proper angle. So I'm just being mindful of the rocket man right here. Now you can see here that the arm is back, but watch when I put the weight in the hammock, because the hammock comes down. Eh, well, let me get in it, get my full weight in it. Now when I'm in it, that arm is pretty straight. So now I'll just get myself rocking. And when I first got it, I was constantly trying to get it to rock me harder. And uh, this is about the rock you get. Now I've had things with my Hatter's hammock, a little thing that's hooks up and it's a rope that goes to your hammock with a little wood handle that runs out. You put a stake in the ground with a little pulley that comes to your hammock and you have to, you know, reach over and sort of pull it and get your momentum going every three or four minutes. Again, so when I rock this way, the shock cord's tight and when it goes backwards, you see a little slack in it. And that's, that'll keep me going a while right there. Because I'm in my backyard, I can run my power cord. But if you wanted to take this to a field or a festival or somewhere where you can't run a cord, you got that 12 volt battery option and uh, that works. Just make sure your battery's charged, that you have a battery charger, way to recharge it. Got it plugged into the 12 volt battery here. Like all batteries, make sure you have black on black connector, red on red. Yep, like he said, it's included. This is for connecting to your 12 volt battery. That's a good little rock. I like it. So if you like rocking, check out the Rocket Man. It's swinging. Battery not included. Now I know you're going to ask how much it weighs, so here we go, which is... 4 pounds, 11 ounces, 74.97 ounces, which is 2,125.5 grams. That's how much it weighs. But it's not like you're going to have it in your backpack. And if you uh, do do that, I commend you. I commend you. Also comes with your troubleshooting guide with a lot of these specifics that you should take heed. And make sure you're familiar with this. So if you don't like directions and don't look at that stuff, well, I say good luck to you, partner. But if you look at the directions, you will have success and you will rock and you will sway yourself into deep, deep slumber. Woo, buddy! All secure in Sector 7!
Let me ask you something, partner. You ever have one of them days, or one of them evenings, you just don't feel like laying on the ground with your saddlebag up behind your head giving you a neck ache. You got your blanket rolled out, there's scorpions and spiders and worms and snails and all kind of things crawling up your pants leg and just getting in god awful places. I hear you, sometimes I feel that way myself. Lately I've come to the conclusion that I like stringing myself up a cloth and stringing it between two trees or two very still horses and laying there, or is it lying there? Sometimes I lay and I lie to myself when I'm laying there. And often that hammock, as they call it, quits rocking. And I want it to rock. I want it to rock me like I'm in my mother's arms. And I don't remember much about my mother. She put me on a cow, sent me off into the wilderness when I was just a young fella. I became quite a rustler, gunslinger, mainly working menial jobs for a living. And that's the way I like it, because I don't have to bring that work home with me, but I digress. That's it. Get on now. Done with you. Bye-bye. Come on. Keep moving. Scram. Skeedaddle. Go.